All right, guys, so today we're going to be checking out something that's a little bit outside of what I normally do. This is not in any request list. This is requested by Cora B from YouTube and is done by ne uh, Neven Dove. And it's about 1509. And SCP 1509 is Joe Schmo. And the hook of this character is it, it has been one of my. F one of like in easily in my top 10 SCPs just because of how absolutely soul crushing would be to be this person. And I didn't know there was a live action film until I was told about it in the comment section. And I love live action stuff because I'm an idiot. I don't know. In any case, we're going to check this out. Let's go. SCP unremarkable. Here we go. so far. I love the glitch that actually showed him standing up again. If you guys don't remember that the in the original SCP file, the he actually stood up and hit the doctor, but the doctor didn't remember it. I had a few things to sort through. Okay, let's begin. My name's Dr. Marcus, what's yours? Joe. Oh Joe, it's very nice to meet you. Hmm. I'm going to be asking you a series of questions, if that's alright with you. Sure. Do you recall where you were born? Born, huh? Haven't really thought about it that much. Everything kind of blurs together. Alright, what about a birth year? Even if I told you, you wouldn't care. Doesn't matter what I say, people tend to ignore me. Okay, thank you for the year. Shit. See? Go figure. Now for some... 
I'm loving this so far. I, I... Simple questions. This will be like a rapid fire segment. So just answer with the first thing that comes to mind. What's your favorite color? Mm, 23. Favorite restaurant? Local dry cleaners. Did you ever have a family pet? Yeah. His name was Bill, and he was a 20 foot tall velociraptor. All right, what about All your- right. that's enough. Oh, well, seems we've come to the end of the rapid fire segment. Could have sworn I had more questions than that. Hmm, memory's a fickle thing, isn't it? Indeed. You know what the worst part about all this is? I'm alone. No matter what I say, or do, or try, everybody acts like I'm not there. So I'm talking to myself every day, all because of some power that I was born with. Joe, I'm gonna be straight with you. You possess a very interesting ability. It appears you're invulnerable to external harm, simply put. You can't be killed. Well, aren't you an observant one? I can see why they hired you. I was hoping you could fill in the blanks for us. Hey, Doc. If I knew that, I'd be dead. Believe me, I've been trying for a long time. Nobody on this planet could understand the pain that I feel. I walk around, I talk at people, wave in their faces, shut them, and they all just move on with their lives. And you know what? I could tell you anything. I could threaten you, insult you, and nothing would happen. I could walk out this room right now in the middle of this interview, take a gun from one of your guards and shoot myself, and nothing would happen. It's okay, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. How do you think it feels, huh? To have nothing. You do be important. You can do anything and no one would care. Every night you go to sleep dreaming of the moment that someone will look you in the eyes and say, hello, I remember you. And then you wake up to the same empty planet. My nose is bleeding. Won't be a moment. Oh my god. My apologies. I don't uh, usually get nosebleeds. Sorry I punched you. I shouldn't have done that. You don't deserve this. You've done nothing wrong. All I want is someone. A friend. An acquaintance even. Of course. Anyways, I think that's all we need from you today. Do you have anything else you wish to say? When you go home, to your family, your wife, your kids, whatever you have, tell them you love them. Tell them they mean something to you. Because I'll actually listen. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. As always, our guards will take you back to your facility. They should be here in a moment. This is one of the reasons this one's
excellent. Oh, sorry. I thought I, I thought it was 1509, 1504. I'm an idiot. You guys know this. Me and me and numbers don't get along. Oh man. It is honestly one of the most depressing SCPs that I've ever, I've I've seen. At this point, is is one of the most depressing, if not the most depressing SCPs I've ever seen, because nothing that this guy does will ever be recognized, ever. Nothing that he he, no one will ever notice him, no matter what he does, no matter what he does. No one will ever notice him. Oh, God, that would be a horrific life. That would be an absolutely horrible, horrible, horrible life. Beyond anything I could imagine. It's one of the things that we do. I mean, we will we will do anything we can to have that like a feeling of contact, a feeling of um, companionship. We'll do whatever it takes to get that done. And sometimes it can get downright self-destructive. Um, and this, this SCP is... The ones, like, horror creatures that portray our deepest fears are always the best type. Always the absolute best type. There is, like, you've got, of course, you know, Freddy, you've got Jason, you've got things like that, but something that is primal, like the need for companionship, that, like, I would never want to be the person that is this SCP because it would be it would just shred your soul day to day. No one is ever going to notice you. Ugh. They did an excellent job conveying it. The actor was absolutely like... It's like... And the thing about it is he's a good person. He's a good person. He just wants somebody to, just somebody to look at him and actually know that he's there. Oh, God, I, I can't even imagine. Guys, that was done by Neven Dove, and it was incredible. It was incredible. I'm going to be putting all their links in the description down below right next to my own. <sighs> Please hit that like and subscribe button if you have not subscribed already. And definitely go check them out. I hope they've done more, because if they did this for this, I mean, this is something. This is pretty much lifted. The, the A lot of the dialogue is brought right off the page. Because, um, like a lot of, there, there were some things that were taken out, but I understand why they were taken out, but at the same time, the, the stuff they added in, the, 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 the little bits they took out and added in only added more to the dimension of the character, only added more to the absolute dimension of the character, and I absolutely 100% approve of that. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm done running my mouth. I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll catch you guys next time.